Aquarius. What's up, Aqua Gang, Aqua Family, Kings and Queens, Gods and Goddesses? How are y'all doing, honey? I am back again with another reading for my Aqua Gang, my Aqua Family. So we're about to do um, what are they afraid to tell you? We're about to do the um, last six signs. This is part two of what are they afraid to tell you? So we're gonna start with Libra and with Pisces. And yeah, we're going to find out what they're afraid to tell you. Now, I feel like I kind of cheated part one a little bit. Whoever is dealing with the first six signs, Aries through, what is it, Virgo? I feel like I kind of cheated y'all because I didn't have the new cards. But I am going to be using my new cards. Um, well, the Hidden Truth Oracle deck in this reading. As well as my I'm Afraid to Tell You deck. And we're going to clarify with one of my tarot decks. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start with Libra. Spirit, what is the Libra afraid to tell the Aquarius? Let's start with five. What is the Libra afraid to tell the Aquarius? Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. That's what the Libra afraid to tell you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell, all that good stuff. If you are new here, say hello. Hey, hey, hey. Look, I can't even get it together. Libra can't get it together. Okay, that's the last shuffle. What is the Libra afraid? Look, what is the Libra afraid to tell the Aquarius? What is the Libra afraid to tell the Aquarius? Three more cards. What is the Libra afraid to tell the Aquarius? Two more. Oh. You got some jumpers. Two more spirit. What is the Libra afraid? One more. Is... Okay. Spirit said, I'm going to give you what, you what you need. At the bottom of the deck, we have let it go. So the Libra may be wanting to tell you to let it go, let something go. Or maybe you're wanting to tell this Libra, let it go, honey. Let it go, chai. Chai. Anyway, so we got let me love you. Yeah, that's why you're telling them let it go. I feel like you're done with this Libra. Some of you, <laughs> I just heard, not me. I'm hiding my feelings. So the Libra is hiding their feelings, but they want you to let them love you. Hmm. I did you wrong. You did me wrong. Okay. A little toxic. Sounding a little toxic. Yep. Stop breaking my heart. Starting to sound a little toxic. Can you come over, Aquarius? I'm secretly in love with you. So this person could either be a Libra or have Libra placements, Libra highly aspected. However, I feel like I'm getting a, an energy of they're missing you, so you're not in contact. Um, seven, the number seven could be of, signif of significance, um, but yeah, because we got seven cards out. I don't think, maybe, I don't know if anyone has had seven cards yet. But let's get some hidden truth oracle messages. Let's see. How many messages do we have for the Aquarius dealing with the Libra? What is the Libra afraid to tell the Aquarius? Okay, that's three right there. At the bottom of the deck, we have you were the best thing in my life. We got I want to be more than friends. So, okay, let me love you. I knew exactly what I was doing. I feel like this goes here and we will be together again on top of I'm hiding my feelings. So I feel like they want to be back with you. Um, they just don't know how to tell you. They knew exactly what they were doing when they hurt you or, you know, when this situation ended, they knew exactly what they were doing as to why it ended. But now they're kind of feeling like they're trying to come back around. They feel like they want to be more than friends. They feel like they're missing out on something. Any more messages? What else do we have for the Aquarius dealing with the Libra? Aquarius dealing with the Libra. What are they afraid to tell the Aquarius? I am becoming a better person. Okay, so that's they said stop breaking my heart because I'm I'm becoming a better person. Now that shit hurt. Now they chest hurt. Look, and you were the best thing in my life. They're adamant about that. You were the best thing that ever happened to this Libra. They're very adamant about that. And they want to become better for you. Yeah, I feel you leaving me behind. So they feel you. That's why they asking you, can you come over? I'm starting to understand our connection. Yeah, now they're starting to understand it. And now they're secretly in love with you. They don't know how to tell you. And they can feel you energetically pulling away. 
I feel like you, like I said, y'all are not in contact. You let it go is here. So, yeah, you definitely tell this person to let it go. Let this shit go. I'm done. Any more? Let's get two more for the Aquarius dealing with the Libra. Two more. spirit so you're gonna take what i give you so at the bottom of the deck aquarius the libra said i love you i love you aquarius and we got you don't know how hard it was to let you go yeah so they're hurt they're heartbroken they're really fucked up about this like they did not want to let you go i wish i had treated you better now they can't stop thinking about you you and i were too young so this person could have been younger than you or you too one of you are younger. I hope that you can forgive me one day. And I want to feel that way again. So I'm getting this person has never felt like this about anyone before. Okay, they're telling me not the right of weight. Um, they've never felt like this with anyone before. Cut the deck. We got justice in the five of wands. So they feel like they're someone's here. Someone here is going to get their justice. I feel like um, there was always a competition or like a... Like, you always had to fight for their attention or vice versa. Um, and I just feel like now they're starting to understand the connection more. They realize that, you know, you were the best thing that happened in their life. You were the best thing to ever happen to them, Aquarius. So, I feel like now they lost. Lost without you. Yeah, that's the energy I'm getting. Can't help myself. How does it feel to know that I love you, baby? And up under that, we got... You speak to me through music, so hmm. Hmm. spirit clarify. I want to be more than friends for the Libra and Aquarius. Clarify, I want to be more than friends. We're just gonna clarify a few of these and then we'll move on. Spirit clarify, I want to be more than friends. Clarify, I want to be more than friends. Okay. Libra said that's that's it. There's nothing to clarify. They want to be more than friends. Clarify we will be together again. Clarify we will be together again. I feel like they don't want me to use this deck, is what I'm hearing. Not this deck, not this deck. So right away, always go with your first mind. <laughs> yeah, two of pentacles and the five of swords. Someone here was juggling. They knew exactly what they were doing. Sneaking. Somebody here was a bully. This could have been... Um, I'm, I'm not getting like a violent, abusive, I mean, abuse is abuse, but I'm getting more of like verbal, verbal abuse. You two both are air signs, very intellectual. The Libra is what, the queen of swords? So yeah, I'm definitely getting that energy of where you two went toe to toe quite, quite often. And it was always a blame game. Hmm. Clarify, we will be together again. Clarify, we will be together again. Okay, like I knew, Six of Cups. So this is somebody from your past. You know this person or you've known this person. Yeah, they're watching you. They're currently spying or this could be gossip about you. But what I'm getting is this person is spying on you. Maybe they're talking to their friends about you or talking to their coworkers or just anybody what the fuck? And they just knocked my cards on the floor. So, somebody mad. We'll find out why they're mad in the next reading. Let me pick these up. Maybe I was supposed to use these. <laughs> Let's see what's at the bottom. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. And some of these are in reverse, but... When they come out, we'll flip them around because I don't take reversals. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all could be getting distracted. Or this person always putting you on pause. Or like, it's always something that's being put on pause. Somebody's always taking a pause or I don't know. 
Yeah, but like I was saying with the page of swords, this person is watching you. They're definitely in your business or trying to be in your business. They want to be back in your energy, um, back in your mix. This is somebody that's spying on you. They could be watching you on Instagram or just, you know, they're trying to find out more about you. They feel like you've changed so much. Clarify, I am becoming a better person. Clarify, I am becoming a better person for the Libra. Mm, Knight of Pentacles. They're becoming a better person, but I feel like it's slow energy. Like they're slowly becoming a better person. They're working on their finances. Um, they're definitely trying to be a more reliable person. Yeah, the lovers. They're they're trying to change. They're trying to show you that this is what they're what they're slowly moving towards with you. They they're trying to make this choice or this decision to just have this relationship, or maybe it could be a friendship or some type of um love triangle i just heard why would it be a triangle i don't know maybe someone here is um polyamorous that's for who that's for but like i was saying this connection um they feel very passionate about you they want to grow with you they want to balance things out um and i just feel like they're slowly making these changes so you won't see it you know right off the bat it's gonna be like some slow shit and you're gonna be like this motherfucker <laughs> clarify i feel you leaving me behind Mm. their intuition is telling them that you're leaving them behind it's like you're not standing them you're going after what you're passionate about and they feel the need to protect it or they could be overprotective but for some reason they feel like they need to protect it because um their intuition is telling them like they can feel you pulling away they can feel you trying to you know, go out on your own, branch out on your own. You're more active or they see you, you know, you're being more active. Maybe you're more active in the community or on on platforms at your own. I don't know. Maybe you're more active online. I don't know. But I feel like they feel the need to come in and try to protect this now or come in and try to take it. They're trying to be greedy or they're very, they're desiring you right now. They want to come in and offer you this cup of love. This could be a new baby or a marriage proposal or what have you. Clarify, I hope that you can forgive me one day. But yeah, I just feel like this person feels you pulling away. Their intuition is telling them. There's also some secrets here or some something that's being hidden that either party doesn't know about. So you're hiding something from them and they're hiding something from you. Clarify, I hope that you can forgive me one day. So we got the Ten of Wands and the Four of Swords. So I'm getting, yeah, maybe one day, but not today. Not today. I'm, you know, I'm taking a break from the bullshit right now, Libra. Yeah, it's too many secrets. It's too many shit being, too much shit being hidden. It's too much shit that you can't, you know, decipher between. I want to get a hip hop queen card. It's too much shit that you can't decipher between. It's like you gotta let it go <laughs> because. It, this isn't happening. It's it's just not happening. It's just not happening. I think you two would be better off as friends. They want to be more than friends. And I think this is what you're going to tell them. Like, I feel like we should just be friends. But, again, they want to be more than friends, Aquarius. So, let's get one hip-hop card for the Aquarius and the Libra. One for Aquarius and Libra. One card Okay, we got Janelle Monet fluidity. So I just feel like um, they're, they they want to be more fluid with you. Purple is giving me Libra energy. I, I feel like she might be a Libra. And at the bottom of the deck, we got Spinderella transition. So yeah, y'all could be transitioning, or they are, or transforming. Like I, I, I feel like it's them though because they definitely said I'm becoming a better person. Um, but with this Janelle Monet fluidity, I feel like they just want you to you know be more fluid. Be more open to this connection is what I'm hearing. They want you to be open to this. Um, they know you may not be for some reason, but they feel like they still want to try to come in. But they're moving slow. They're moving very slow. And they can be stingy. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing this Libra is stingy with their money. They're stingy with the coin. <laughs> so, beware of that. Anyway. Moving right along, moving right along. Let's see what we got for the Scorpios. Let's see what we got for the Scorpios dealing with Aquarius. Scorpio. What is the Scorpio afraid to tell the Aquarius? What's the Scorpio 
still afraid to tell the Aquarius. Scorpio, afraid to tell the Aquarius. Let's get five. Okay, Scorpio, ready to talk. They like, shit, I've been waiting on you. I was waiting on you at the door. I just, I was waiting on you at the door. Three more for the Scorpio. What is the Scorpio afraid to tell the Aquarius? Right at the bottom of the deck, we got I need more time. Hmm. So the Scorpio feels like they need more time, maybe more time to make a decision. Maybe you left them with an ultimatum. Okay, and we got six. So six could be of significance. Um, we got I'm secretly in love with you. Everybody's secretly in love with an Aquarius. Tell me something we don't know. You know, you love me. I'm secretly in love with you. I feel like this. <laughs> this is very cocky energy. This Scorpio could be very cocky. I don't know. I thought you loved me. You know you love me. I thought you loved me. I hurt you on purpose. Mm. You're always on my mind. And please forgive me. So yeah. They did some shit on purpose. Per usual. I just heard. It's like they purposely did some shit. To try to force you away from them. Because they need more time. I feel like they weren't ready um for what you were for, what you were ready for i feel like you were ready to take things to the next level you know level up level up level up level up level up level up so yeah and i just feel like they needed more time so they figured they figured out some kind of way to sabotage this connection um so that you wouldn't have a choice basically but to leave leave them alone i just heard because i was gonna say let it go Hmm. Let's get six out for the Aquas. Dealing with the Scorpio. The Scorpio is afraid to tell the Aquarius. Okay. Somebody's a neat freak. What's the Scorpio afraid to tell the Aquarius? Six cards spirit. What is the Scorpio afraid to tell the Aquarius? My life is not as together as it seems. Yeah, they weren't ready. Um, their life isn't together as it seems, isn't as together as it seems, and they needed time. They wanted, they need time to get their life together, so they hurt you purposefully so that they can take this time to themselves when all they had to do was be honest. Yeah, I'm becoming a better person. So I just feel like all they had to do was be honest and let you know, like, hey, I'm still trying to get my shit together. I'm still trying to, you know, get this off the ground. I'm, I'm working on this. I really don't have time for this connection right now. I feel like if they were just 100% honest with you and, you know, kept that shit trill, then we wouldn't be going through this right now. Look at this. Now they're starting to understand. I'm starting to understand our connection. Yeah, now they're starting to understand and they want to give you more, but they feel like they can't. They feel like they don't deserve you or they can't live up to your level, your expectations. Four more for the Aquarius dealing with the Scorpio. What is the Scorpio afraid to tell the Aquarius? <laughs> they scared to tell you that they love you. I love you. Hmm. And then we got, I bury myself in work to forget you. Yeah, so like I said, I feel like they weren't ready. So they, they you know, they try to make, they fake dizzy. They ignore your text messages. They, I'm working. I'm doing. They always busy because they try so hard. They're trying so hard to forget you because they feel like you're not coming back. Yeah, and they can't stop thinking about you. They burn themselves in work to forget you, but they can't stop thinking about you. <laughs> Two more for Aquarius dealing with the Scorpio. I just feel like they're fake busy. It's like you make time for other shit. You might see this person doing shit and then they tell you like but i'm working or maybe they really are they're working hard i want to feel that way again so they want to be back in that connection with you again it says you're always on my mind so we knew that and i know i messed up everything yeah so that's it's going down on top of please forgive me so they want forgiveness for this i don't react when people mention you 
They try not to react because they don't want people to think that they're sprung. I just heard. Find out. Finding out the truth crushed me. So, yeah. I don't know what happened here, Aquarius. Um, we're going to find out with the witch's tarot. Might have witched tarot. But um, I just feel it's, it's giving me an energy of like, okay, look. We got the three of cups in reverse and we got the world. So, somebody's not celebrating. They don't want to celebrate. People could be bringing you up to this person. Their friend group, their, their circle of friends could be bringing you up. Like, what up, Aquarius at? Damn, you ain't said you ain't talked to the Aquarius. What's going on? And it's like they don't even react. They try to act like Aquarius who? Just to make them make this they make them look better, make them feel better. They they are kidding themselves. <laughs> Basically. They lying to themselves, Aquarius. Clarify my life is not as together as it seems. Clarify my life is not together as it seems. So we got the nine of ones and the eight of ones. So their life isn't together as it seems. So they're trying to, like I said, they're maintaining their boundaries. They're trying to fake busy or play busy or keep busy so they don't have to think about you. Um... You could be getting some type of message or some type of, yeah, this is somebody from your past. Um, you could be getting some type of message. They're very nostalgic right now. They're thinking about all the times that you two shared or, or you know, the energy that you two exchanged and all kind of shit. They're thinking about it a lot and they're wanting to reach out, Aquarius. So you could be getting some messages from this person soon or this could just be, I feel like they're going to be bombarding you with messages. I don't know. I feel like they're trying to rush in now. This is something that's happening quick or something, you know, happening with swiftness, with speed. I feel like this person is, maybe they felt like you were moving too fast and that's why they put their boundaries up. That's why they felt like they had to keep and maintain their boundaries. They try not to let you know that you have them as open as you do. Yeah, three of pentacles and the four of wands. They want stability. They want to work on it. They want to, you know collab with you but i just feel like they don't know how right now scorpio don't want you to see that side of them that vulnerable side clarify i am becoming a better person five of wands yeah they're fighting for this though they're fighting to make a change so and that's that's good yeah for for us or so they could be in some type of restful energy right now um they're resting or i feel like they're resting towards this situation but you two are divinely guided and protected, divinely connected, honey. So, the lover's card coming out. I feel like somebody could have Gemini placement. Somebody has a lot of fire energy. Or this person is just very passionate. And look at this. We have the star at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, the lovers and the star card, they're very hopeful. They know that eventually they're going to have to make a choice or some type of decision about this connection, about this relationship. Um, this could definitely be your twin flame or your soulmate. Um, for some reason, that's the energy that I always pick up on. So, I don't know. And it's it's always past lover. Somebody from your past or somebody that you knew before. So, that's why. It's always like a past life connection. Um, but, yeah, they want to balance something out with you. They want to bring... Look at this. Split the deck. We got the star at the bottom and the ten of cups. So, yeah, they want to bring you some type of um, joy and stability. They want to make you happy. And they want to feel how they felt again but they they need time and i'm almost getting frustrated so i feel like they're frustrated now because they feel like you don't understand that that they need time clarify i want to feel that way again clarify i want to feel that way again yeah page of pentacles they want you to teach them teach me how to love show me the way to surrender my heart girl i'm so lost teach me how to love how i can get my emotions involved teach me how to love yeah, they want to let you know. I, I don't know. Maybe they want to come towards you. Maybe they've gotten some news about some money or some type of income or finances um, increasing. And they want to come share this information with you. Maybe they want to come give you something. And we have the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like, yeah, they're hurt. They're torn between the two. I don't know where that just came from. So there could be a third party here. Um, but I just feel like they're torn. They're, they feel like they've hit rock bottom. Like, 
this lost without you as energy I'm hearing Cisco incomplete I can make believe I have everything but I can't pretend that I don't see that without you girl my life is incomplete look at this indecisive as fuck they life incomplete two of swords in reverse so they're not making the decision look five of swords they're still being blunt and cold towards you this is definitely libra energy air energy air energy so you, <laughs> you could have libra placements or they could but yeah they're still being cold they're still not making a decision they're still being real standoffish i'm getting real page ass energy like just just talk Claire okay they said you want me to talk i'm gonna be cold but i'm gonna be emotional with it i'm gonna be emo so they could be a love bomber <laughs> clarify i know i messed up everything clarify i know i messed up everything that card flew across the table and hit the floor so we got the higher frame, we got the ace of swords so yeah i feel like you're gonna get some truth or some type of clarity about this they're gonna come back and say they went to with they, they went to see the lady it's what I'm getting. Look, look at the lady. They're going to say, I went to see the lady, Aquarius. The lady said, everything is fine in reverse. So, everything is not fine with this coming out in reverse. Everything is not fine. This is still Ten of Swords energy. They still need to heal. I feel like they haven't healed. And that's what the lady going to tell them when they... When they go see the lady, that's what the lady gonna tell them. I know I messed up everything. Somebody's gonna get some type of clarity about this connection. Um, this could also be marriage. Maybe this person wants to marry you. I don't know. Let's get a hip hop oracle. Hip hop queens. Yeah, ten of swords in reverse. Everything is not fine with this person, with this Scorpio Aquarius. I feel like I don't know. I feel like maybe they're they're tired. They're worn down. They're just. I don't know. They want that connection back with you. They haven't been the same since you two split. So, that's for who that's for. But I feel like they still need more time to heal. All of this at the bottom of the deck. And then, I'm looking at this that says, finding out the truth crushed me. So, somebody here is going to get some type of clarity or some type of truth is going to be revealed. Some type of information is going to be revealed. Because we got, they put on the face like everything is fine. When it's not. Finding out the truth crushed me. And we got I need more time. And under that. We got I'm not ready. So. And look at this. I knew exactly what I was doing. So didn't we see that? I hurt you on purpose. They knew what they were doing Aquarius. So I just feel like. And we got the knight of swords in reverse. So they're they're running backwards. <laughs> Give me one hip-hop queen for the Aquarius and the Scorpio. Aquarius and Scorpio. Show me one card. Yeah, somebody's going to find out the truth. And this could be them. They're going to find out the truth about something. Maybe you moved on. And this is why they're trying to rush back in. We got Knight of Swords in reverse. Like I said, they're running backwards. They're running ass backwards at that. Or Knight of Swords is saying, don't rush in. Don't rush in towards this Aquarius. Or you're not letting this person come towards you. So we got, and then I'm going to take this one too because... So we got, yeah, Mary J. Lodge healing. Somebody here needs to finish healing, do some healing. Good morning, gorgeous. <coughs> Ooh, throat chakra. <coughs> they don't want me to get this out. We got Dej Loaf, mood. So yeah, this needs to be your mood, Aquarius. And we got us girls, guidance. There's definitely some guidance happening here. Sister Soldier at the bottom of the deck, power, standing your power. Um, the Scorpio is trying to be powerful at this time, but it's like they can't. You can see it. You can see through the bullshit. You see through the masquerade and the charades, I just heard. So, yeah. There's definitely some healing going on. 
Um, I've been listening to Mary J. Lodge's new album a lot. So somebody here could listen to Good Morning Gorgeous a lot or just Good Morning Gorgeous. Moving right along, moving right along. All right, y'all. So before my camera decided to be disrespectful, moving right along. Like I said, moving right along, right on next to the table. We have Sagittarius. And, of course, I was shuffling as it died. I didn't even look up. I'm just going, talking, talking to myself. Man, the bottom of the deck, we got this some bullshit. So, yeah, that was some bullshit. How they just tried to shut the Sagittarius and the Aquarius portion down. But I just feel like this Sagittarius feel like this some bullshit Aquarius. So, they're high. They could be getting higher. They're afraid to tell you that they're high. Maybe they're, you know, maybe they relapse. Maybe someone here um, went backwards, I just heard. Don't give up on me. So, they don't want you to give up on them, though. Look, I did you wrong. You did me wrong. Where your man at? And put the blame on me. And oddly enough, the Sagittarius is the only sign that listened. Five cards, like I said. So, maybe they're trying to listen now. Maybe they're trying to pay attention more. Or maybe they're just... Five means change. So, maybe they're trying to change. Or maybe they want... They're wanting some type of change. They feel like this is some bullshit. What's up under that? I'm hiding my feelings. Yeah. They feel like this is some bullshit. They feel like you not reaching out like you usually do. You know, maybe you used to reach out. Maybe this person, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you used to, you're not doing the shit that you used to do, I'm getting. And they feel like this is some bullshit. And they hate it where they are. I just heard I hate it here. So, that's for who that's for. Let's get five for the Aquarius and the Sagittarius. What is the Sagittarius afraid to tell the Aquarius? This is Sagittarius. Okay, they say stop and read these. I feel you even though we are apart. Because they high as a kite. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about you. Don't give up on me. I know I was a distraction from your pain. So, they that's why they said this some bullshit. They feel like you just used them as a distraction. Maybe they were a rebound. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, they feel like they, they were used. <laughs> I did you wrong. You did me wrong. So, I feel like they think you used them to, you know, get over somebody else. Or maybe to just occupy your time. That's how they feel. Maybe that's not true. What other messages do we have? Let's get three more for the Aquarius and the Sagittarius. Maybe if I look at the cards. <laughs> I'm trying to watch the camera <laughs> so it don't die on us again. Okay. And they just imploded. So, y'all know Sagittarius, they can go from zero to 100 real quick. So, I feel like that's how they're trying to do some bullshit. That's what that just was. They're very frustrated with me. Okay. Three more for the Aquarius dealing with the Sagittarius. I want to feel that way again. Everybody's in this energy and I look for you everywhere. I want to feel that way again. I look for you everywhere. Yeah, because where y'all man at? Finding out the truth crushed me. So yeah, I feel like they found out. But they're saying put the blame on me. I feel like they found out that you were just using them to occupy their occupy your time with this where your man at i feel like they knew that they were the rebound they was just the backup hmm one more there it go i wish i had treated you better so that's why they're saying put the blame on them at the bottom of the deck we got we need to let each other go yeah that's why they feel like there's some bullshit because they don't want to let go Maybe you don't want to let go either, but I feel like I'm getting this more from the Sagittarius side. Like, they know they have to let go, but they don't want to. They're going to do what they want to do. Period. They don't give a damn what no cards say. One thing about it. Not the Sagittarius. They don't give a fuck about what a card said. I'm going to do what I want to do anyway. Hmm. Y'all know who that's for, so I don't know. Maybe this person has a problem with authority. <laughs> so. So to clarify, I feel you even though we are apart. Or let's just get five cards for the Aquarius dealing with the Sagittarius. Let's get five cards. No. Clarify, I feel you even when we are apart. Three of Cups. Yeah, they want to bring this circle back together. Maybe it was a trio. I don't know. Somebody here is Polly. So maybe that's your energy, Aquarius. I don't know. But 
they want to bring this back together some kind of way. Maybe you all, you were in a, uh, like a friend group, the same type of friend group. Um, they see you as the queen of pentacles, very resourceful, very nurturing. You could have nurtured this relationship, but not a lot. Um, so yeah, they see you as the queen of pentacles, very resourceful, uh, very domesticated. They feel like they could have a family with you. Clarify, I can't stop thinking about you. Clarify, I can't stop thinking about you. I feel like you're going to tell them we need to let each other go. And they're going to say this is some bullshit. <laughs> the Empress. Yeah, they want to have a family. Or they want to get you pregnant. Be careful. Um, they definitely view you as... Um, they have a lot of respect for you. Let me say that. Or they they have a lot of respect for you, but they may not know how to show it. Yeah, you know, with the Page of Swords, they're very, like, gossipy. I just heard. Um, maybe they could be talking about you behind your back. But not really in a negative way. Like, they're kind of, like, reminiscing about old times. Like, oh, my God, I want to get the Aquarius pregnant. Like, if I get the Aquarius pregnant, they ain't got no choice but to fuck with me forever. With the Page of Swords, they could definitely be spying on you, too. They're definitely watching you, watching your social media accounts. So, <laughs> but, yeah, they view you as very maternal, very, um, very nurturing. You're very abundant. Or you just look, you're, you glow with radiance. I don't know. They just view you in a higher power, a higher light. You went from being the Queen of Pentacles in their eyes to the Empress. And it was like overnight. Yeah. They were tired of juggling or they're tired of tired of trying to juggle you and another person. And they want to balance something out. They want to offer you um, something new. They want to give you something new. Maybe they want to come towards you and try to act like they want to do business when really... <laughs> They want to do something else. This could be a person that was like multitasking or juggling two parties. I don't know. Two of Pentacles is about having a choice between um, two things or just trying to weigh out their options. So they're trying to see maybe they had someone else pregnant or maybe they have a family elsewhere. And they're trying to see do they want to, you know, stay with their family or bring this family back together or bring start a family with you. This is about with this uh, empress here creation of life so they see you as the empress and now they're they're confused they don't know what decision to make and i stop to pick this card up and we have the star so they're they know they need to choose you but you're in this energy of where yeah we need to let each other go at the bottom of that we have i am grateful for the spiritual lesson so i feel like this was a lesson and a blessing in the same time just being near you is intoxicating it's time for me to heal now. So, yeah, they need to do some healing as well. Everyone here needs to heal, obviously. I want to feel that way again. I was just about to ask. Yep, look, Sagittarius, we have the Temperance card. So, yeah, they want to feel that energy again. Um, but I feel like they're trying to be more patient or they're trying to be patient at this time. They're stuck. They have conflicting, conflicting thoughts about this situation. They don't know if they want to balance it out yeah they're very confused here they're stuck trying to make a choice they don't know if they want to balance it out be patient or if they want to rush in um they want to bring you some type of communication though they definitely want to reach out um they definitely want to reach out they don't know how you two could not have spoken in a while five of swords is um you know bullies theft violence abuse all that stuff but it's like it's deeper than that. I feel like this is them beating themselves up about this situation. Like, yeah, they're beating themselves up about this situation. We got the Ace of Wands. But they want to come in and offer you something new, something passionate. Um, a lot of new energy. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Um, but they know they need to let this go. They know they need to let you go. You're on this self journey this solo tour it's like i ain't got no room for it now but i feel like they want to come towards you and act like they want to do business and they really want to do something else <laughs> clarify i wish i had treated you better 
clarify. I wish I had treated you better. King of Swords. They wish they had treated the Aquarius better because now the Aquarius is cold as fuck cold as fuck very intellectual so you know you can see through the games you see through the bullshit you see but aquarius they're like oh my god we're gonna be and you're like uh-uh uh-uh okay you're not interested you're not interested so we got we need to let each other go but then we got the two of cups down here hmm they want to come back aquarius they do Cardi B personality. This person can have a very fiery personality, very loud and in your face. Or this could be you. And now my camera is about to die. Let's get a hip hop card for the uh, Aquarius dealing with the Sag. Aquarius and Sagittarius. I'm going to switch the battery when it cut off. Aquarius dealing with the Sagittarius. One card, please, for Aquarius dealing with the Sag. Say, stop telling me what you gonna do. At the bottom of the deck, we got Kaylani superstition. So, yeah, some of y'all could be very superstitious, or you're just into stuff like that. You're very um intuition, intuition, you're very intuitive, or your intuition is on fire. You're very confident as well, gangsta boo. So, somebody here exudes confidence. Um, or this is how this Sagittarius sees you. We got Lady of Rage fight. So, you could have gotten into a fight with this person, or I'm getting fight for me, fight for this. We got Lil' Kim, resilient. So you're very resilient at this time, or this is how the Sagittarius is going to show up. They want to show you that they can stand and weather the storm with you. Um, you two, They feel like you two could heal together, or maybe you can heal one another. Maybe you two can exchange energy. I don't know why they want to do that, but yeah. Um, so give me a second. I'm about to change this battery, and then we're going to move on to Capricorn. Hold on.